I recently bought this frame here for 10 bucks. Now the main reason I bought it was for the strong light crank set that's on here. I believe it's a Model 93 Super Competition. So for the crank set alone, I think 10 bucks was an awesome deal. Now part of the reason I think I got a good deal on this is that these older strong light crank sets require a special puller to remove them. The seller didn't have one, I do. And so I figured this is a good opportunity to talk about these special pullers uh, that are uh, used to remove these old strong light crank sets. And another uh, one, that, like TA Specialties, also requires a special pull to remove them. And how they compare to the more standard puller used to uh, remove most similar types of crank sets. Now this is a pretty good example of a standard puller. Uh, this puller here is made by Park Tool and it's what I use day to day for removing uh, cr most crank sets like square taper type crank sets that take a puller like this. And they call this diameter here uh, 22 millimeters. If I, though if I actually measure it, it's actually a little bit less. Uh, about 21.8687 uh, uh, millimeters in diameter there. Um, now this is another a crank set, it's from Mono 600, and it's just, uh, it, it takes a standard puller like this, and so if I measure the inside diameter there, that measures to be about uh, 20.87 millimeters in there. So if you have like a crank set and you're wondering what kind of puller it takes, if you, think, if you think it takes a special puller, if you measure in there and it's a little bit less than 21, then it probably takes a standard puller. Now, as I said, a, a standard puller that works for most crank sets is about 22 millimeters in diameter, but there are exceptions. Two of the most notable exceptions are uh, the older strong light crank sets uh, to, made up to about 1982 that required a 23.35 millimeter puller and older TA Specialties crank sets which required a 23 millimeter puller. Now you can find the pullers for those online, uh, different places, uh, J.A. Stein's company, and they make a lot of tools and they have a puller for each of those sizes. But there's other places you find, if you look around on eBay, you can find them. Now this tool here, this is an older park tool, a CCP1 uh, crank puller. It's not, uh, they don't sell it anymore, but you can find them on eBay. And it actually comes with two different threadings on here. One is 22 millimeters in diameter that works for uh, most crank sets, but it also came with a 23 millimeter threading on here that would work for the TA Specialties crank sets. Now, even though the 23 millimeter is close to the 23.35 millimeter uh, threading of the Strong Light, I don't recommend you use this. It will thread in, it'll be loose, and if you try to remove the uh, crank set, you're very likely to strip those threads out. So you want a 23.35 millimeter puller. Now this puller here, I bought it on eBay, and it actually comes with two different threadings. On this side is 23 millimeters, which will work for the TA Specialties crank sets, but it also has the 23.35 millimeter threading over here that will work for the Strong Light crank set, and that's what I'm gonna be using. Now before I can use the puller, I need to remove this uh, crank bolt here. On uh, the very common size on most uh, cranks, it's usually about 14 millimeters for like either a nut or a bolt in there. Uh, this is like 16 millimeters, so it's a little bit larger than I'm used to. And so I have a 16 millimeter socket here. And so I'm gonna undo this uh, crank bolt here. And then remove the bolt, and there's a washer there. Always remove the washer. Uh, sometimes the washer will kind of get stuck in there. And if you try to use the puller, it'll push against the washer in there and it will just rip the threads out of the crank. Not a good thing. So always make sure you, you uh, check for a washer in there. Now for reference, when I measured the inside of the threads on the other, the standard crank, it was a little bit under 21 millimeters. On this uh, vintage strong light here, it's a uh, little over uh, 22, uh, like 22 and a quarter, 22, uh, 22 and a quarter millimeters uh, diameter in there. So it's over 22. So it's quite a bit different than the threading on the uh, standard crank set. And if I try to thread in like a standard puller here, it just slides right in. So there's no chance whatsoever that I could even use this on this uh, crank set like that. 
And so now I'm ready to use the puller. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this bolt out there because I don't want it to like bottom out as I'm putting it in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, grease just around the threading of the puller here so that it threads in smoothly like this. And I'm gonna thread it in by hand and I wanna make sure that I do not cross thread it. It should go in pretty smoothly and it might get a little tight in there, but it's not cross-threading. And so then I can use an adjustable wrench to tighten it in. And I want to tighten it in till it pretty much bottoms out, but I don't want to like force it. Okay, so it hits like that. Now I can tighten this bolt in like this. And I'll use the uh, one adjustable wrench to kind of hold the tool there. And then I'll use another adjustable wrench here to tighten the bolt in. And this will push against the spindle and pull the crank set off. And it's already off like that. So now I can just remove the tool from the crank. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward pulling one of these off. It's just you have to make sure you have the right tool. And hopefully I've given you enough information on what kind of tools to look for for your uh, crank. Anyway, I hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. You see new videos that come out and I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a ton of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for the page. I have stuff over there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.